Today, I'm going to teach you guys a couple different tips and tricks whenever it comes to sublimating t-shirts, because right now we have the best bundle for you, which is the beginner's t-shirt bundle. Not only is it for sublimation, you can also use it with your Cricut and Silhouette and all of the things, but that is what we're going to be doing today. So as you guys are joining in, make sure you guys let me know, where are you guys crafting from? How is the weather? Is it looking fall there? I feel like today is the first day that it actually looked fall for us here. We got a little bit of cool weather. So I'm super, super excited about it. So um, like I said, as you guys are coming in, say hello, hello, hello. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. So like I said, as you guys are coming in, I cannot wait to see you guys. I really love hanging out with you guys live. I'm so excited. Hello. Hello, Tammy. Welcome in. Hello, uh, Kimley. Hello. Hello. Uh, we've got Cynthia. Hello, everyone from California. Very rainy and cold. We had a little bit of rain going on yesterday. Now, I also want to tell you guys, too, I it was my birthday. So I got a new Nintendo Switch. So we celebrated my birthday over the weekend. And the one thing I wanted was a new Nintendo Switch. I know it's crazy, but I love playing the Animal Crossing. So you guys let me know in the comments below, does anybody else play Animal Crossing? Now, let me confess to you guys about this whole entire thing. So I let my daughter, when she moved out, take our Nintendo Switch. So me and her play together best thing, drink coffee and play Animal Crossing. You will be at the most calm and the best start of your day. Inside of my house, I actually have my YouTube studio. I set it up with the lights and the computer and all the things. So I have a design model studio on Animal Crossing. I know, I'm extra. But anyways, I was so, so excited because we did that this weekend. And so the point was, I actually had some rain as well on my Animal Crossing. But you guys let me know if you guys play that down below. Happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. Um, it was a ton of fun. Hung out with the kiddos. We just absolutely had a great time. So hello from North Carolina. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. So today, let's go ahead and start off with our giveaway. We're going to give away 15 plus credits. So you're going to use hashtag bleach and you're going to have a chance to win those 15 plus credits. Now, you do not have to be a plus member to use your plus credits. You can definitely use those however you guys want to. So 15 of those. And I'm telling y'all, our plus team is killing it. Our designs in our plus membership are amazing. I absolutely love them all. I can't even choose a favorite. All right. So like I said, let me show you my screen really quick. I'm going to bring that up and we'll walk over this as we're hanging out and everything. So we are going to be using the beginners. I'm actually going to make this full screen just so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better and zoom us in here. So this is the beginners SVG t-shirt making bundle. And if you guys were live with us last week, you guys know that I got a question asked of what was one of the favorite things that I like to craft. And it is making t-shirts, whether it's with my Cricut or sublimation. I love it. So um, this one right here is perfect. And it's only $15. So you have over $160 in here. This is perfect for every beginner or even a pro. These are amazing designs to add in your shop. So if you guys sell um, t-shirts online or you guys have a little boutique in town, there is amazing designs in here. So if you guys have been following us over on our TikTok and Instagram, you probably have seen, which I'll show you guys in a minute, we've done some sweats sweatshirts and stuff with these designs right here. I'm going to use these again, the messy bun, because you guys already know I love my bun. We have some super cute ones here. Um, these quotes right here and these um, neutral tone colors right here together, the tone on tone, gorgeous. Um, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we've got some stuff in there. For our cat lovers here, we do got a really cute one right here. Um, this one's really good. It's a Christian quotes bundle. We've got some, she is strong, she is loved, she is fearless. Love this one. I'll definitely be making some out of here because my daughter is obsessed with these. Um, fathers, you know, you got Father's Day coming up. Um, I say coming up. We have Christmas coming up. Don't judge. <laughs> you may have a birthday coming up for dad. Father's Day is a little bit of ways. But either way, there's some really cute ones inside of here as well. Um, we've got these ones right here are so cute. Let me open this one up because I'm obsessed with this little bundle here. So this is a funny bundle. So once again, if you guys own a shirt like shirt shop where you guys sell t-shirts, whether you have, like I said, a cricket sublimation, you're doing the direct to film, all of those things. These are perfect. This one says, Hey, autocorrect. It was never duck. So cute. Um, let's see. This one says, I'm not needy. I am wanty. So, so stinking cute. Uh, being a functional adult, um, Every day seems a bit excessive, excessive. Um, another fine day ruined by adulthood. 
100% agree. All right, so I'm going to go back us up here. I've actually made this one as well. I think we did a live with this one. Um, like I said, it is just packed loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here. This one here is perfect too for our retired crew. Absolutely love that one. This one in here had a bunch of really cute ones too. Um, Faith Over Fear was really cute in here. Be Brave, Be Strong, Be Fearless. And I do believe we did a t-shirt with this one before. So, so many good ones in here. Pray More, Worry Less. Super, super cute. I'm back it back up here. Um, and like I said, just so many cute ones. Some Christmas ones in here. We've done those as well. And then I was trying to see because I've actually, this one right here, y'all, so cute. We're using one of this one with the messy bun. We're going to use this 50 mom sayings. Let me see if we can pull some of these up so you can see a little bit better. So we have messy bun and school runs, just pretending to have it all together. Raise your hand if you are a part of that crew best mama ever, but how cute would these be to sell in your boutique or make for a friend, make for yourself to wear, um, resting mom face, all of the coffee, but I really love the font on these. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm 105% tired. <laughs> Anybody else with me here? I'm 105% tired. Um, mama needs wine. Like I said, 24 seven mama. If you're going to get this bundle, you'll have to check this one out and look inside here. This is $8 and 50 cents and you're going to get the entire bundle for 15 bucks. So, um, it's like half the price for just one of those. And you're going to get the entire kit and caboodle. Now, one of the bundles that I'm actually using inside of here today, I want you guys to guess what show is coming up. So out of this one right here, it is so cute. Um, trust me, you can dance bourbon. Mama needs bourbon. There's some really, really cute ones in here. Let me know what show is coming out in November that you guys think that inspired me to make the t-shirt that I'm going to make today. So like I said, you guys let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop this down below because I think we are ready to start walking you guys through. I'm going to tell you some of the supplies and then I'll take you guys back to Canva so I can show you how to split up and a oh, open split up a design. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'm going to take you guys over to Canva in a minute. I'm going to show y'all if you want to print a big design like this. For example, this is on 11 by 17. So you would need like your Sawgrass SG-1000 or a bigger Epson converted Epson printer. Um, but you can still accomplish those by cutting your designs in half. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that using Canva. So that way you guys can still accomplish those really big designs. And so today I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm going to show you guys how to bleach a t-shirt using the foam bleach. So you guys can actually get these um, spray bottles here, but you want the one that is a foam because it's going to give it this really cool effect. So we have that as a bathroom cleaner, I believe. And then we're going to be using, I don't even know if I say this right. You guys let me know. I, is it writ, right? I think it's writ. Um, these are amazing. You could get these in purples, teals, black, pinks. You can get these in all sorts of different colors and the possibilities are endless. And I love these more than just the traditional tie dye. A little goes a long way. What you need is a condiment bottle like this, which you can grab locally at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, things like that. I will try to link you guys afterwards because I forgot to do that. Uh, but you could grab these on Amazon as well. And you're just going to add a little bit in here. So depending on how dark you want it to be, that's how much you're going to add. You just need about a tablespoon or so. We'll add that in a minute. I'm using tan today, but you could use camel. Um, I'm trying to think of the other color. There was one more color that I got, but I'm using the tan today. So we're going to do a bleached one, and then we're going to also do a tie-dye. So it's going to look something like this. Like I said, if you guys are following us on Instagram or TikTok, you guys would see how I made this one. This sweatshirt is 50-50, so you can supplement on the Gildan sweatshirts like this, because like I said, they're half poly, half cotton. Now this is using my Cricut. So using this bundle here, I did use my Cricut. So like I said, you don't have to have a sublimation printer for this bundle. Um, and it's so, so cute. So as you guys can see, how awesome this guy came out. I love it. It's almost like a coffee stain. I just love it. Love, love, love. So this was a white Gildan sweatshirt and you can get those for around six bucks online. So we're going to be recreating that. So to go over t-shirts really quick, I am using the Gildan soft style. I know that I always say 50, 50. These guys are actually 65 poly and 35 cotton. When I used to purchase these back in the day, I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I'm pretty sure they were 50, 50. That's why you guys hear me say that a lot. So I want you guys to pick down below. Do you think we should use the green one 
or do you guys think that we should use the purple? So green or purple, you guys choose, and that's what I'm going to use. So green or purple, and the design that we're going to be doing for that is going to be, let me make sure this guy stays awake here, is going to be that messy bun, mama hair don't care. So purple or green for this design right here, and this is the one we're going to bleach, all right? And then for the tie-dye, this is where I want to show you guys a trick. So for the tie-dye, since I'm going to be, um, sublimating, I have this one here, which is 65 poly. It's white, 65, 35. Guess where I got this t-shirt from? Walmart. This is in the men's section. This is the George brand. So George, they are 65 and there's different colors. There's light colors and all of that. Um, 65, 35. Now make sure y'all read the tags because sometimes they do switch those up. And I think these are $3 a shirt, something like that, but you can grab these locally at Walmart. Um, so I'm going to use this white to do that whole tie dye look. All right. So I'm seeing some purples coming in purple, purple. Okay. I definitely think they're purple. That's what I was thinking too. So I'm so excited. Y'all are great. All right. So let's go ahead and get ready for our first giveaway. If we're ready, Brittany will pull it up and we'll go ahead and pick our very first winner here. So let's see, let's go ahead and hit that draw button. There we go. Good luck to everybody. Um, like I said, this is going to be for 15 plus credits. So you guys will be able to check out our plus membership or have some extras. Congratulations, Rosa. Thank you so much for watching us over there on Facebook. Um, I, want, I don't want to butcher your last name. I think it's Canalis. Somebody let me know. But it, Rosa, congratulations. All you have to do is reach out to mail at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of the 15 plus credits. And they will add those to your account as soon as you reach out. So let's see. If you guys are ready for another giveaway. So we're going to do another giveaway. And for this one, we're going to pick it at the very end. So all you're going to have to do is give me some hearts down below. So before I can actually announce our last one, and this one's going to be for the entire bundle. So we're going to give away the t-shirt bundle. So um, if you guys want to see that, you guys drop some hearts down below and let me know that you guys are ready and I'll give you guys that hashtag. So while we do that, I'm going to go ahead and head on over here to Canvas. So let me pull my screen back open here. And I'm going to show you guys while you guys are giving some love. I'm going to switch over here to my comments and see what we got here. I can see all those hearts coming through. Oh my gosh. I love hanging out with you guys so much. You guys are a ton of fun. By the way, while we're waiting, I'm going to send a huge shout out to my biggest fan. Um, and he loves my... You are so stinking cute. So it was Brendan. I believe I said that right. Brendan. So huge shout out to my biggest fan. Um... So I, it is just so stinking cute, which we're going to talk about here in just a bit. I see all those hearts coming in. Okay, we're ready. So for the next one, all you have to do is use hashtag t-shirt. And for this one, you're going to have a chance for that entire t-shirt bundle. All right, so let me show y'all. Say, for example, you guys only have a smaller Epson printer that can print the 8.5 by 14 or the 8.5 by 11, the Sawgrass SG500. But you want to print something that is like the... Um, Sawgrass SG-1000. So what I've done is I've opened up Canvas. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this completely free in the freest way possible. All right. So you're going to use the free version of Canva. If you have another way of doing this, definitely feel free to do that. You just basically need a way to slice this and print it on two eight and a half by 11s. So I've brought in my blank sheet. So when you open up Canva, you're going to start a new blank canvas. And I did it at 11 by 17. The reason why, so I can visually see it and stretch it all the way out. Um, if you feel that you can visually do this with an eight and a half by 11, you can do that as well, which I can try to attempt that in a second. So 11 by 17, right? Because that's what we're wanting to do. We know that we can't print wider than um, 11, right? Because we're doing eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to get my design out here. I, I've looked at it. I think I've got it at like 10.2 here. Looks good to me. I'll kind of center this up here. Um, and then what we're going to do is duplicate it. So to duplicate it, see this little box here? We're going to hit that. And I just kind of lined everything back up just like that. So then we're going to go to cropped. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this top line and then figure out where I want that to crop. So I'm just, I went somewhere right about in here, figured out my center. I don't want to do something to where I'm going to go into that uh, piece of that K on that makes. So I'm going to stay right up here. So it looks good to me. So what we're going to do is hit done. I'm going to go ahead and select my next layer. And this one, instead of coming from the top, we're going to work our way from the bottom. Now, if I'm going too fast, you guys can definitely watch this. We will have it so you guys can watch it on the replay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit crop again. 
And this time, like I said, I'm going to work my way up from the bottom and you're going to see this. See how when I go up high, look at that light gray. So it's going to show me right where that line is. So now all I got to do is bring this right up against it just like that. And then we're going to hit done. So I'm going to have my two pieces, as you guys can see, just like that. Now, if you guys, so see, for example, if I go to resize this and if I wanted to resize it and take it to the eight and a half by 11, you have to be a paid membership. So I don't want to do that. So my next step that I would actually do is I would add a page and I would drop this down so that way I have two pages here. And then I would go to download them, right? So then you're going to have a page that looks like this. This is where we're at. I would download it, right? And then I would come back in and I would open up another canvas that is eight and a half by 11. So you're going to download those to your computer. And now you're going to have two separate files that are broken half. So then whenever we open up our new page like this, these ones right here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. So say, for example, I open up that new eight and a half by 11. When you bring in your 11 by 17, you see how we have all this open space. That's because it came from that 11 by 17. All you have to do is grab the bottom bar here and drag that guy up just like that. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I can grab that bar just like this. And you're going to see that these guys are going to line up you know, you can kind of bring these back out. If they did move around, you can always size these up and line them up absolutely perfect. And that's really honestly not too bad. So you can kind of see perfect. So then I can select both of these at the same time. And then that way, whenever I size out all the way to say, for example, you know, my 10, I'm going to drag that out like that. I'm going to put one on top, add a new page, Go back up here and drag one down. So hopefully this was not confusing to anybody. I know it is a lot to take in, but once again, you can replay this and you can slow it down. You're just going to be saving in between. Now, if you do have the paid membership, you would just hit resize and it would resize it over to that. Um, I wanted to see, for example, if I brought, let's just add a new page. Let's say I just started at the eight and a half by 11 and I did it 11 by eight and a half and that's how I have it horizontal, right? So let's see if I brought it in full here. And I sized it out. If I could just accomplish it the first time. Sometimes I do things and then I'm like, you know, I bet there was an easier way than this. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's duplicate this guy. All right. Line them up. We're going to crop. And this one, I will start from the top. And I'm going to bring it down right about here. Done. Grab that back one. Come down here. And it definitely looks like we could have just pulled it off this way too. So just like that. And then, whoop, I didn't hit crop. It's actually what I didn't do. Done. But you've seen it. You've seen the whole thing. So I was able to do that on an eight and a half by 11. If I didn't already confuse everybody, we definitely were able to do that. And then you would hit down and you would have your two pieces. All right. So let's go ahead and drop this and let's get ready to sublimate some t-shirts. All right. So let me go ahead and get ready to scoot this guy over. There we go. Perfect. All right. So like I said, make sure you guys are using hashtag t-shirt in the comments below for a chance to win the entire bundle. Also, we will be doing Q&A towards the end. So if you guys have any questions along the way, make sure you guys do that in all caps. It just helps us find those a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below. All right, here we go. And I think I'm going to try to bring my lighting up just a little bit. So y'all there with me. Let's see, go this way without washing that out. I think that's as bright as it's going to let me go today. So that's all right. Here we go. So we are going to start by sublimating. I've got my Cricut Easy Press. I'm using that today. So let's start with doing our messy bun. We're going with the purple because you guys chose that. Get these out of our way here. There we go. Now, like I said, you guys, did anybody guess in the comments on the bourbon what show inspired me to make that t-shirt? Have you guys already guessed that? If you guys have, now that I can see, let's see, I'm just lining it up on, now I'm just lining it up on the press. Yes. So once, so I'm fixing to show you guys on taping that one up as well. Um, so here we go. So let's go ahead and start with our t-shirt that we're going to do the messy bun with. Now for this one, I'm doing two separate designs. So I'm going to sublimate my first one, which is my messy bun. I'm just pulling out my moisture here. These shirts, once again, are the Gildan Soft Style. They're the heathered ones. They're 65, 35. I have my Cricut Easy Press 385 for 40 seconds. You press the button on your camera. Oh, you know what? I did. Here we go. I'm glad you guys caught that. 
Here we go. Let me, <laughs> y'all get to see me go over. Let's see. Y'all get to see my camera settings. That's all right. At least you guys caught that. Or I'm sure you guys did it. <laughs> there, there we go. Boom. Perfect. All right. So I forgot to switch out. I actually did switch it before I got started. I must've just not saved it. Yes. Yellowstone. You guys let me know in the comments below who has been watching Yellowstone, who is ready for Yellowstone. I am so pumped about it. I cannot even. Hello, crafty friends. All right. So let's see. Hello, hello, hello. So we're going to take our messy bun first. I'm going to use my handy dandy tape dispenser here. All right. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to get my messy bun right up here at the top. So we're going to start here. There we go. We're going to cover it with our parchment. There we go. And then we are going to press this just like that. There we go. For 40 seconds. I am ready for Yellowstone. I'm telling you what, me and my husband are obsessed and we've been waiting because you know, they were supposed to come out. I think I thought they were going to come out in September. And so every time my husband's like, when are they coming? When are they coming? But I definitely think it is coming in November and I am here for it. So we're going to have to make us a whole entire, um, t-shirt crew, right? We got to have to have our t-shirts. So I thought this one was just absolutely perfect. I'm so ready for Yellowstone. I'm telling y'all what, I'm so excited to see that we've got fans here because I'm obsessed. Yes. Ready for the new season. All right. Now, if you guys have not watched it, I do encourage if you guys like the like country, um, country westerns. Have you ever guys watched Dallas back in the day? My mom and dad watched that show. It reminds me of that, just a new modern spin on it, um, but it would be very similar. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and peel. How cute is this? I love even on these colors. If you guys don't even want to bleach this just to be able to see this on the color, it's gorgeous. I love it. All right. So we're going to get that out of our way. And we're going to get ready for the next one. So for the next one, I chose mom hair don't care. Um, I really wanted that. I'm 105% tired. <laughs> that was so cute. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and trim around this so I can kind of see how close I can get it. All right. Now, the fun thing about these is combining them is, number one, if you have a solid grass SG-1000, you can definitely print them on 11 by 17 together. But with these, I can put it right below it. I could kind of get it off at an angle if I want to. I'm going to go ahead for today's purposes. I'm going to get it right underneath. So I'm going to try to line it up as best as possible. Get it right here. And then I'm going to scoot the t-shirt up whenever we get ready here. I love it. Thank you so much. Like I said, y'all don't want to miss this bundle. This one is a good one, especially if you guys are into making t-shirts. Once again, it does not matter if you have a Cricut sublimation. There's all sorts of fun stuff in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get a new parchment. We're going to cover this up and we're going to press again. Here we go. There we go. I see the love coming in. So you guys let me know, did you guys have any big plans this weekend? Um, you guys getting ready for fall? In our local area, we have what's called the Pictures in the Alley. It is so stinking cute. And you go and there's like this little alley and they get it prepped up with like hay bales and pumpkins. And then everybody goes and takes photos. So that was going on in our local community. A lot of pumpkin patch. I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook. Everybody going to those pumpkin patch. Our kids are grown. So, uh, I really do miss those things. Absolutely. So you guys let me know what you guys are doing. Love the tape dispenser. I found that on Amazon and all you simply have to do is type in sublimation tape dispenser. And I always say search for the cheapest one. There's different colors, pinks, purples, blues, you name it, they have it. All right. So I'm going to drop you all back down and we will do our pill. Mom hair don't care. I love it. How cute. So these are two different designs that we paired together. I'll bring you guys back up. So these are two different designs that I was able to pair together and make one solid design. And then once again, I used my Sawgrass SG500 and I printed it in two different, um, two different pieces of paper. And that way it looks like I actually own a bigger sublimation printer and I don't. So that is my hack for that today. So we're going to be bleaching this one, but I'm going to bleach this one after the tie dye. So we're going to set this girl out of the way and get ready to press our next one. So here we go. So for this one, we're going to be taping these together. So what I recommend if you are ever going to be piecing together, make sure you use a paper trimmer. It's really going to help you keep that precise line. And you guys, if y'all have watched my live, you guys have seen me cut over. So 
we'll see how this goes today. All right, so what you're going to do is you're just simply going to go ahead and take this on your paper trimmer, and I'm going to try to do this without cutting off any of my design. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to try to trust myself. And then, you know, if you don't cut, you definitely need to go back in there. I need to go a little bit further. Another tip for me, if you need to cut, say, for example, I've got such a close line, start in the middle. So push down in the middle, work your way from one side to the next. I say that and then I still do it. It'll usually help. I'm going to go ahead and trim to fix this. Usually that will help without fraying those pieces, but I still did it. So I'm going to do it this way. There we go. All right. So like I said, just get as close as you can. I can see that my paper still needs a little bit here. There we go. Looks good. So we've got our line there. And then we're going to go in and get our next. Same here. All right. So let's see here. Let's go in. Oh, my gosh. Y'all let me know, too. What is your favorite designs in there? Um, is it the Christian bundles? Is it going to be the mom hair? What is it that you guys are so excited about? Let's see. Every time I get off, just so, <laughs> just the tiniest amount. All right, let's see if I can go back in here. I may actually do it with the scissors. I tell y'all to use a paper trimmer. Don't, don't listen to me. Same here, Crystal. Okay, I'm glad that you guys are right here with me. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get this nice and close. All right. Just a little bit more. Boom. So you guys know that when Yellowstone premieres, this is going to be the t-shirt I will be wearing. So if you guys want to make a t-shirt to match with me um, as we watch Yellowstone together, because obviously we'll be doing it together in spirit, um, you guys can be matching with me. So this is the exact same. This is the exact shirt that I'm going to be wearing. All right. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and bring in this t-shirt here. So like I said, this one is 65. If you guys just now tuned in, these are from Walmart. They're the George brand in the men's section. Um, they're 65 poly, 35 cotton. All right. So we're going to go ahead. And actually, before we actually get this up here, let's go ahead and tape this together. So I'm going to drop y'all back down again. Let's see. I have used the hair bundle and I love the Christian bundle. I have not used it yet. I'll definitely have to do something for you guys soon with that Christian bundle because I know... My daughter's going to really want some stuff out of there. So I need to, um, I need to definitely make her some stuff. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and start. What I like to do is start from the front. So let me do that. And then I'll kind of over, I, it's hard to explain. So I'm trying to kind of overlap the paper in a sense, but not distorting it. Hold on. I should have, let's see if I can do it. I'm going to tape down my front side first. I taped over my design. Let me redo this one really quick. I'm trying to overlap it ever so slightly. But like I said, without distorting it. It's just easier to tape from the front first. And then come on the back. So I'm going to flip it over. And then now I'll just kind of run a piece of tape. Now the cool thing about this tape dispenser is it has a one on the side. So you guys see if you twist it like this. You guys can get some little spots like that. And you can actually have two rolls going at the same time. These are the same heat tape. One's gold, one's blue. Um, with this side one here, which this is kind of funky there, but you can actually get some really long strips using the side one. Let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and just carefully push these together. Kind of like if I was making a tumbler pushing those together. I might end up with just an ever so slightly line, but it's just going to go with our bourbon look. All right. <laughs> so that's really cool about this too, is distressed. If you guys wanted to, just a little tip for me too. Say for example, that you guys wanted to distress this. I was trying to find something that I want to use really fast. Just bear with me. All right. Let's take our weeding tool. Say for example, I wanted to distress this design. You could take your weeding tool and go in here and just kind of scuff up your paper a little bit here and there. And you can definitely do that and make some marks inside of these to take off some of that black ink. And you can distress these after the fact. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'll bring that up. So if you guys want to distress an image, um, you guys can definitely do that after the fact. All right, here we go. So now let's line up our t-shirt. I'm really excited about this. I'm always nervous about <laughs> 
bleaching and stuff live because you never know how this is going to go. And I do preach that um, if you guys are going to do any of the bleach stuff that you definitely um, do it outside in a well ventilated area. We do have the door open here today. So that's where if it's a little bit echoey, uh, we did do that today. So I'm in a well ventilated area. All right. So I think that's pretty straight to me. I'm going to go back in here and take these down. Now, this is a big design, so I think I'm going to have to, I'm just eyeballing here. Nope, I think I'm going to hit it with one shot. So maybe, I think we got this. All right, here we go. So we're going to cover it. I need a new piece of parchment. I think we honestly, I think, I think it's going to hit both sides. So we're going to center this up and we're going to hit go. So here we go. So I'm pretty sure... You guys cross your fingers. I'm pretty sure that it's covering the entire thing. So if it's missing any little corners, you know what's happened. So we are going to sublimate this first. Whenever it comes to bleach um, or tie-dye, I like to sublimate first, then bleach. Um, because I have found personally for me, if you bleach it, that's where you can get some scorching or burn marks when you go to press it because you've already added so much damage to it. Um, and what, what I'm going to show you guys today is a little tip using a paintbrush to get that perfect alignment for that design as well whenever you sublimate it first. All right, we're going to drop us back down. Like I said, fingers crossed, y'all. Today's projects are extra awesome. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. We are going to peel. Like I said, there's probably a minute line, but we're going to find out. And boom. I did get a little bit of a line there, but Let's see. I think you guys, yeah, I think you guys can see that. I got a little bit of a line, but that's okay. You guys see where I've got a little bit of that distressing going on. I may bring that up so you guys can see. All right. Also for November, so you guys can see a little bit of that distressing that I did. So you guys can feel free to do that however you guys want to. Um, I was trying to think here. Now, remember, this is, we will lose just a minute color on this one, but I think it's going to be fine with the whole tie-dye thing. So let's dive into our tie-dye. So you want to use warm water in here. It's just going to help speed up that process. So we're going to take this. I'm going to drop y'all back down here really quick. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're, I'm going to actually get it to be safe. We're going to put this underneath. Y'all already know I've painted the heck out of this table. We got all kinds of stains going on. So I've got my water. I probably left this much open to work with, but I'm just going to pour in a little bit at a time and figure out. You can always do a test spot. I'll go with something about like that. Looks good to me. Um, you can always do a test spot on your fabric to see if that's enough. Now, I will tell you when you wash it, it will. So you'll see how dark it is. But when you go to wash it, it will. You got to use the same color as me. So I have tan. This is tan. Um, when you go to wash it, it's going to have this color right here. So that's where it's going to wash out too. So hopefully you guys can see that there. Great idea on this distressing. Thank you so much. All right. So then we want to mix this. I'm going to carefully, without making a mess, mix this up really good. So we're going to do that. And I can actually bring y'all guys back up here because I think you guys will be able to see up here. Now, the few things that I like to do, whenever I tie-dye, I keep my stuff together. So I've got a little craft space. If you guys are in the kitchen, you guys can put it with some pans and things like that. But I've got a little section for my tie dyeing, And this is what I like to keep on hand. All right. So what I've got here is these right here that you get at Thanksgiving time. Well, you get them any time, but we purchase them usually at Thanksgiving. Um, these pans right here, they come like two in a pack. These are, I think these are the ones that, no, these are not as big as a turkey. These are I guess a cake. I'm not sure. <laughs> Bigger than a cake. Stuffing. Let's say stuffing. Um, they come two in a pack and I love to keep these. These are for my tie dyeing. And that way I just kind of have it right here, especially if you are doing some tie dyeing inside or trying to contain that mess. I do love keeping these, rinse them out, use them over and over again. The next thing I like to get is a cookie rack and you may already own one. Another thing that say, for example, if you purchase a convection oven for your sublimation, that rack in there that you don't need, use it for this. You ever have something like that, like a microwave with you comes with some sort of rack and you don't use it. Now it's going to come in handy. If not, these are cookie sheet racks. I think they're around $3 at Walmart and I put it right on top. So it sets perfectly in here. So what this does is it allows when I go to set my um, tie dyeing here, it's not sitting in that pool and then it's not adding just weird blobs on the back. So I do use these 
I've got some gloves here and then some rubber bands, which you can just get a bundle of rubber bands really anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our t-shirt now. Now I'm not too concerned about my design and where this is going to go. We're still really going to be able to see our design. If you wanted to avoid that, you can really just make sure you're scrunching around it. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and create just little scrunches all over this entire thing. So this is the time where if we have any questions along the way, I can definitely start trying to answer some of those. So they'll just pop them up here for us. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep on trucking all the way around. So however you want. So if you wanted like a true tie dye effect, you can do that. But this is going to make it look almost like a stone wash, if you will. Let's see, question, can you use the Visa gift card to purchase files? You definitely can. So whatever um, we take, it's like MasterCard, Visa, and all those, you can definitely do that. Let's see here. Have you heard that tape dispenser is hard to load? What is your opinion on it? You know what? I had that question before, and let me show you really quick, because I had promised that when we went live the next time, and I totally forgot, I would show you guys how to do that. So let me take two seconds to do that. I'm going to drop you all down below. So when you get this, all right, right here, let me see. It's probably, let me back this guy up. It may pull on it this way. I'm gonna pop this guy off. So this little wheel here just pops up, right? So I'm trying to get it to back up here. I'm like, let it go. Let me cut it with my scissors. Here we go. This won't take long at all. So y'all just hold on. There we go. Let me just do this real quick. We're gonna clean this off. Perfect. All right, so when you get this, your wheel is going to look like this, right? So you can load two of these, right? So you can fit two at a time. You'd get them both on there. So that way you have double the thing. Now, it does come with a smaller one of these. And what that allows you to do is load the Cricut ones, the small ones. I don't remember where I said that. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape dispenser here, right? So we're going to have it with our sticky tape up, right? Everybody with me? We're going to tape dispenser up. You're simply going to load this on here. I could get mine in the center because I just have one, or you can keep it scooted over. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to push this down because it's going to go this way. This little roll right here, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just sticking my tape to the bottom of one of those, right? And then we are just simply, hopefully you guys, I'm going to bring this up so y'all can see. See this? It's going to go in there and you're just going to pop. That's it. It's in. So now when you go to turn this, that's it. It's ready. So really, honestly, it's super duper easy. When it comes to this side with these, this guy right here just pops on. So this goes up, this goes down to hold it in. Easy peasy, on and off. And then this has like a little um, guard to protect for that little cut. So you can put that away for the kiddo. So super duper easy. All right, so I'll go ahead and set that out of the way and we will keep on trekking. So I hope you guys can see that, uh, but I have had that question multiple times. And like I said, I did promise that the next time we went live. So thank you for asking that. Let's see, does the easy press have to cover the complete image when sublimating or can I press, you can press it multiple times. So if it doesn't just scoot it over and press it again, I try to avoid pressing in the same area. So try to line your press up, um, in a spot that you haven't done. Let's see here. How did you, how do you decide where to place the rubber bands anywhere? So this is one of those things that is super duper random. I could really pay attention and only lift up the front side of my t-shirt. So say for example, when I do this, I could make sure I'm only kind of picking up this. And that way, when I go to do the back, I could do a whole different thing on the back, but I don't really do that. So I'm just kind of really going random and just really picking these in. It's just going to allow those little, you know, kind of I don't know how, like the, almost like if you spilled coffee on it, if that makes sense. Now, the one thing that you can do, which I'm going to show y'all, is I've got a mister bottle here. You could spray this and get it damp just a little bit. That's going to help your inks just flow nicely um, without any harsh lines. But honestly, that sweatshirt right there, I did not add any water to it. So this one, we're going to spray and add a little bit of water. But with that sweatshirt, I did not. But it will help that ink go a little bit further. So we're just going to keep on checking. Let's see. Question. If I'm not a member right now, can I still purchase this bundle? Yes. You know what? And I'm glad you asked that. That's a question we've been seeing recently quite a bit. And I mean, I totally get where the confusion comes in. So no, you do not have to be a member to purchase any of our bundles. Now, if you are a member, you will save, so for example, on our two lower tiers, you'll save 10%. If you're a gold plus member, you will save 15% on this bundle. 
Let's see. So how do I do that? Just a regular checkout. Yep. You're just going to check it out. Add to cart and check out. How do I apply pressure? So when it comes to applying pressure, I'm going to do this just to show you. So whenever you go to apply pressure, like this is, this is just minimal pressure. So if you want to apply pressure, just kind of give a little bit of your body weight. That's all you got to do. And you're going to have that nothing crazy, just a little bit like that. And you're good to go. Let's see here. Does sublimation shred with paper? Let's see. Does this does sublimation shred with paper trimmer? Does that mean I need a new blade? So uh, with or with the paper trimmer, I do need a I need a new blade, <laughs> honestly. All right, so I've got one more here on this side. I think I'm gonna be good to go. Let's see. This will be the last one, and then we'll get too busy on this. I love it. You're amazing. I have a question. How is the stone wash effect? created and that's how it is so the stone wash effect like this is just by creating these little ties like this it's like the way that you've kind of clumped up that shirt that's where the ink goes let me kind of see if I can show you here really quickly so you guys can see like wherever I have pulled that in I was trying to find some say for example I pulled it in here like where I've kind of blocked it may have blocked this area or blocked this whole area. And that's, so the blocked pieces is what stays white, if that makes sense. I think this is pretty good. Let me get one more. And we're going to tie dye this thing. So like I said, I'm using warm water. I'm about to get some gloves on. And we're going to be good. I've got it right here on top of my cookie sheet. And you don't have to use all that's in here. So I'm using that condiment bottle. Use whatever you have. Use an old mustard container. Um, use an old ketchup container. Just use what you have. It just kind of helps distribute it a little bit better. You could use a cup. Just, just slowly pour it on there. So use what you have. Now, don't, don't do like me. I Anybody else do the Walmart pickups, you know, where you order through the thing? Well, I did. And mine had the first one I purchased cost me $10. So I thought that's what they costed. And so it shipped to the house, but that was where the third party, these are actually, this was at Hobby Lobby and it was $2.99. So don't pay more than three bucks for these things. Okay. That may be more expensive in your area, but not $10. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's what's really cool. These go a long way and they're super cheap. So now I'm gonna drop y'all down below and let's get busy with this. So you guys see, this is our shirt. I just have it. It's random. So it's just however you want to do that. And now we're going to go in here. And we're just going to random. Oh, I was going to spritz. I'm going to take my spritzer here. Now, this one's like a fine mist. So you see when I spray it, it just continues. So I'm just spraying this just to get a little bit wet. Nothing crazy. So I'm just going to miss that just like that. Like I said, just to kind of help. And then I'll kind of press it in to the T-shirt. Just like that. Once again, I did not do it on my sweatshirt. So here we go. Here we go. And then I will wash this and take a picture and hopefully we can post this. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to post it um, on our Facebook community group later on once I get it washed and everything. So y'all guys keep an eye out for that. I'm going to pour some more in here and then I'm really going to get to shaking this. All right. So give me just a second here. Thank you, Crystal. I learned so much. Thank you so much, Kim. I, I really love hearing that. Hashtag t-shirt. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this guy up. Hopefully not getting it all over anything. All right. There we go. And I did. I, I, I got it everywhere. <laughs> all right. Here we go. I think we're going to be good to go. And like I said, the color that this is going to look now is not how it's going to look whenever it's washed. So I'm going to keep going in here. There we go. And so just kind of randomly, I'm not just making sure every white spot is covered. I'll flip it over, start working on this side. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of squeezing it in there. And these are perfect. So think about it. Think about Christmas. You can do them in red. You can do them in green. Um, you can do half and half. Mix the colors. I think it would be so pretty, too, once this had went through the wash, did its thing, do it again and do like a teal and add some of that teal in there would be really cute, too. So you guys can see it start to darken up a little bit there. Um, and like I said, once I wash, it'll lighten out. Okay. So you're just going to do as much as you want until you think you're happy with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this guy set aside. You want to let it sit for around, um, I think this is good. I don't want to do too, too crazy. So um, let me go ahead and 
we're going to come back up here. I'm going to set this aside. You want to let it set for around 30 minutes, right? Which obviously I'm live, so I'm not going to do all that. Once you're done, you're simply just going to throw it into the wash, wash it out. You know what? Listen, okay. My father-in-law, he does our laundry and he, I went to go start the wash to wash these. So I washed them individual, one's bleach, one's um, tie dye. I was going to go through the whole wash thing. I was trying to get the lowest wash cycle that it was going to take. He's like, why don't you just put it all rinse and spin? I was like, what? Why did I never think of that? Has anybody else thought of that? So when you go to rinse these out, even with the bleach ones, don't go through the whole wash cycle because I never put detergent, but I try to find the fastest way to do it, like small load, put it on rinse and spin. Listen to my father-in-law. He's smarter than me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get ready. We're going to leave this guy. We're going to get ready for the bleach. So this one I'm really excited about. It's new to me. We've already done a sweatshirt using this method, um, but I'm really excited to do it today with this one right here. So I've got some trash bags here. So little tips here as we're prepping and getting things ready. Y'all bear with me as I move everything out of our way. With this, I better put my tie-dye lid on too. Get that out of the way. With this one, if you don't want, so for example, I'm really going to be saturating where the design is. So I don't want a big blob on the back. So if you don't want that, you can put a cardboard insert. So you know those cardboard inserts you get for like if you were doing the ink t-shirts and all that from like Hobby Lobby. I think even Walmart carries them. Take a box, cut it down. You can use that or take a trash bag. So what I do is I get my trash bag like this and I'll open up my t-shirt and I'll try to get it in here one side to the next. So I just kind of get my hands on one side I'm trying to do it while I'm live. <laughs> so I'll kind of get one side to the next like this and then I'll grab this side. We're going to grab this side. I'll shake it out. All right. And if I need to go back in there, which I think I do to smooth everything, it doesn't have to be perfect just to make sure I'm blocking that area looks good here we have it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a couple more underneath this just to protect my surface one once again do this outside what i do is if you guys seen our diy t-shirt stand we have it um maybe dawn can put that in the comments below um let's see here just double checking everything is okay okay there we go um dawn can hopefully drop that in the comments we had actually made a bleach t-shirt stand so you guys can do this outside do not do this inside um if you were in your garage make sure the garage door is open or something like that all right but like i said we have opened our doors and we are prepared here so we're going to go ahead i'm just going to get some trash bags get this guy over i don't catch nothing on fire we don't want to do that while we're live and then we're scoot that out of our way i'm gonna get one more and we're gonna be ready to go all right, let's see. Crystal, I'm going to need that mom hair shirt. Uh, yes, Brittany, I love it so much. Brittany, I mean, I think we definitely, we're both rocking the bun all the time. And listen, I did straighten my hair. So you guys know that I do have hair. <laughs> but I get so hot with this hair that I'm just, it's easier for me like this. Brittany deserves that shirt. She does. You know what, Brittany? I am going to mail this to you. She's amazing. Brittany is a rock star. Um, absolutely love Brittany. She can do so much. I'm telling you what. She's like a she's like an undercover ninja when it comes to crafts. All right, so here we go. So we've got our t-shirt. I've got my um my my foam bleach. So this spray bottle, I'm gonna show you all really quick. It says foam. So it says foamer. So you want the foam one because it's so cool because it's going to give it this little blob. So basically similar to our tie-dye look, but it's going to be these foam blobs, right? Ah, uh, Salpa Stan, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you loved it. Yes, make sure y'all check it out if you haven't already. All right, I'm going to move my mouse pad and my keyboard to be safe. Safety first, guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then I'm going to make sure my sweatshirt, I don't want to ruin anything that was just created. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt, I have not done this, but I think it's going to work. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. I'm going to use a paintbrush. So when I spray, I'm going to spray quite a bit. I'm hoping this will help me kind of move this around. So if you use regular bleach, you could take a coffee cup. Definitely make sure you have to wash that really well before you ever reuse it. Take a coffee cup and you can really go around this and get that perfect placement with a paintbrush. We're going to try to do this with a foamer. So here we go. Y'all ready for this? So this is amazing. So when we go to spray, we're going to get these blobs. 
like that. Look at that. So we're going to get these foam blocks, which is going to make it the most coolest effect. So if you squeeze lightly, you're going to get smaller blobs. Like I'm here for this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my blobs. All right. And then once you're done with this, you'll flip your t-shirt over because we have the bag and then we can get it on the back. Love Brittany. We all love Brittany. She is fabulous. So if you guys are not following our Facebook community group, she's over there hot and heavy. And so make sure you guys are definitely checking that out. Um, you guys can definitely chat with her over there too. Um, because Brittany is fantastic. All right. So I've got a really big one going there. And then maybe like a big one there. You see how I kind of got a little bit of spritz. And so now I'm going to do this is where I'm going to attempt is I'm going to go all the way around this design, something like this. Like I said, it's the first time I'm doing it. We're going to learn together. And I'm going to get quite a bit. And you may want to have gloves if you're going to be getting the bleach on you. And I'm going to use that paintbrush to really smooth this out. Now, keep in mind, if this was outside, that sun would be activating this so quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop outside and lay this outside while we work on the next one. And that way that sun can do its magic for us. And then hopefully, because I'm in town, nobody runs by and takes it from us. <laughs> can you imagine we go back out and it's not even out there? All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. So that is good to go. You see that starting to activate? I'm going to bring y'all up here really quick. Y'all can hopefully see those colors starting to activate. I've got this foam here. And what I'm going to do to be safe is I'm just going to pop it down underneath here. And that way I can rinse that out later just to store that. So now, like I said, let me run this guy outside really fast. And that way the sun can do its magic so we can really look at it and see what it's going to look like. So y'all just stay here for two seconds. Stay here and talk to Brittany and Don. There we go. We are back. And now what we're going to do, let's go ahead and open up. Um, I didn't think this through um, with my gloves. I'm going to see if I can get these back. So that way when I open this up, I don't get my hands super wrapped. So let's see here. Hashtag shirt. I'm so excited. Now, hopefully, like I said, we have a, um, like an auto body shop right here, right next door. They are probably like, what is this girl doing? I'm just going to try to get my hands back in here. I think they go in this direction. Let's hope so. If not, we're just going to basically be making a mess. I may end up with tie-dye hands. So if y'all see my hands for the rest of the show, y'all know what happened. I think it goes this way. Here we go. Crystal, come back. Oh my gosh, Dawn. Let's see. Dawn, I love her so much. Her son is my biggest fan. So I got to meet him this morning and he absolutely loves it when I say it's so stinking, so stinking cute. So everybody give a huge shout out to, is it Brayden? I want to make sure I'm saying that. I'm the worst with names. I'm terrible. I have to say them so many times. So y'all make sure y'all say hello, hello. Here we go. So what you're going to do once it's set there, you're just going to go. I don't like to clip my rubber bands because I use them over and over, but you could definitely just take your scissors and clip them. And now we're going to get to see the magic. So once again, if you want this to be dark, like this one is here, use a different color. So I use tan. There's camel. Somebody help me if they know the color. There is another one. Dang girl, where do y'all live? T-shirt thieves. I'm <laughs> And there may not be, I'm telling you, but I don't know. I've never stuck something outside before here. Here we go. Let's see. Hashtag t-shirt. Um, somebody help me in the comments below. There's tan. There's camel. I'm trying to think of the other neutral tone. Um, absolutely love them. I think any of them would work. So you would get a darker color. So if you wanted something darker um, or to say real dark like this, maybe use that, that camel. It may be caramel. I'm not sure. Uh, love it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Brendan. Yes, it is. Brendan. Yes. I love, love, love it. Okay, guys, I'm loving this shirt. So this is kind of like a cow print type thing going on. And um, it is so cute. My daughter has some cow print pants. She's obsessed with cows. And um, I seen, because she's obsessed with this store called Alter State, if y'all guys know what that is. They have those bell bottom pants. And they had some this color. And now I'm wishing I snagged them for, hello, don't, let's see, I'm loving the earrings. These ones are from Alter State too, by the way. I love these donuts. These are my favorite. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready for this? How 
stinking cute. So you guys can see as we were doing this, it looked like, and see how it got the back? So you could do separate looks, but it's so cool. It's almost like this brown, like cowhide type look. And look at that without sublimation. But when we covered this, it looked like we were losing a lot of that white and we were not. So let me drop y'all down below. Y'all can really check it out and look at the colors here. I'll try to lay it out for y'all. Look at how cute this is for Yellowstone. And once again, this is from Walmart, y'all. This t-shirt is from Walmart. Cute. I love it. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I'm glad you guys like it. So you guys can see by doing those, it doesn't matter. There's no rhyme or rhythm to those. So basically when you're doing that, you're blocking the color. So where that white, I'm blocking the color here. And so it's getting wherever that ink can go and seep into. I just love the way that this one came out. But imagine a Christmas one. You can do reds and purples and all those things. You can do a half and half t-shirt. Um, Halloween's coming up to do those oranges and purples. Oh my gosh. Now this side here, we have like a whole nother look going on. So you guys let me know which side is your favorite, the back or the front. We have a whole nother look. Um, may never leave the craft room. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, the thing about it is with this, I could, I'm going to go ahead and come back up here. So for example, if I wanted to do with my Cricut Easy Press or Cricut Easy Press, <laughs> my Cricut, um, like I did with the sweatshirt, do your tie-dye first and then apply your HTV vinyl. So I would tie-dye it first and then do the HTV, um, it, but wash it first. Once again, use that rinse and spin. Use the rinse and spin. Um, and you guys are going to get this fabulous look like this. I love it. Front, uh, show Crystal some love. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you all so much. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside. Let's go grab the other one. And so once again, you can just set it like this. Put it straight off into that wash. You could do a ton of these back to back. So stay here. Let me go grab it. And let's see how much has bleached out. Okay, nobody took our shirt. <laughs> here it is. Now, the one thing I am learning here, and we do have some cooler weather, so we do have that to factor in. When you lose that UV index, um, it, takes, it takes a little bit longer to get to that white point. But one thing I think will go on with this as I'm learning using this bleach foam stuff, I don't think it's like 100% straight bleach, so you may not get that super white look. So what you may do is go back in again with a bleach spritzer and really get that white out if you want it. So there you have it. How cute. I'm gonna drop y'all down really quick. That way y'all can look at these different blobs here. So you can see where that spray that I was talking about there, see how it just kind of like spread out there. But I really love how it almost does the same as that tie dye did. It is so stinking cool the way that that foam works. It is absolutely amazing. So it has to be the foam one to do that whole foam thing. You could use um, a bleach spritzer if you want to. So use whatever you've got. But I do believe um, now, once again, it could be that if I leave this out in the sun a little bit longer, we may get it more to that white look. Um, but I've tried to look this over because I did it when I did my sweatshirt. And I really think that um, we would need to go back in with like a plain white, but you may just really love it like this as well, but I love it and see how, once again, I combine those two designs, how stinking cute those came out. So you guys let me know in the comments below, which one is your favorite, the bleach or the tie dye. And, uh, so we can go ahead and get ready for Q and A. <music> And I'm going to fix my hair <laughs> since I've been running around. This is the first time we've ever went live putting something outside. So this was new. Let's see here. Can we use the bundle with a Cricut and not? Yes. So that's what I've talked about. So let me show you really quick. So this was made with the bundle using my Cricut Explorer 3. So you can use all of your Cricuts and Silhouettes and all of those die cutting machines with this one as well. Let's see. Do you wash your t-shirt with a rubber? Nope. So you want to pull it out and it will not spread. So it is done now. So it's done its job. And so once I've washed it out, these are going to stay. So where um, this look is, that's how it's going to stay. Let's see here. What color was the dye when you did the sweatshirt? This sweatshirt 
was the exact same color. So when you go to wash this, this is going to come down to this color here. If you want it to stay this brown, which will look even darker when you do it, use, like I said, um, it's camel, there's caramel, there's even like a brown one. You want to use a darker and it'll wash out. So you can always play around with those to figure out which one's best. Um, but this will tone down to something about like this. Let's see here. Do you need to set the dye with vinegar or something? Now, there is... I have not. Now, I know that some people, they put it in the microwave, and I don't know if that has something to do with it. I haven't really researched a lot on this. Um, I'm definitely still new to it. I have seen where people write, so say, for example, I right before you check out the rubber bands, they put it in the microwave for the last, like, just 30 seconds. I think they put it for 30 seconds and really heated that up. So I don't know if that locks the color in. We need to test it. If you guys want to test that, we can definitely do it. I don't know. If you guys are familiar with using this, let us know in the comments below. Um, there is a dye block or one that makes it more vibrant. So there is one of these that you can buy. Um, it either makes it more vibrant or it blocks some more of the white stuff. I'm not too sure. So there is another thing you can buy. What brand is this shirt? This one here, the one we bleached, is a Gildan uh, soft style, which is 65 poly, 35 cotton. This white one is actually from Walmart. This is the George brand. So if you go to the men's section, these are folded up on like one of those little tables. Um, it is the George brand, and it is also 65 polyester. Do you dilute the dye? I uh, missed that part. Yes. So whenever you do your container here and you can see how much I, I still can do a whole nother t-shirt so really you could get away with adding this much water and just a little bit so you're going to put um like i filled mine like right here and then most of this i put in that dye at the top there let's see here what heat press do you recommend for sublimation now you can get away with a cricket you could do the cricket nine by nine or for me i really love the stalls a to z it's one of my absolute favorites a 15 by 15 so it's going to cover a lot of your needs Let's see here. Can you use colored? Yes, you can. You can use colored rubber bands. As far as I know, because I know exactly what you mean, like if the color is going to die, I think it would only do that if you were using bleach. But with the dye, the dye, I don't think you should have any problem. Would coffee work? You know what? Now I want to try that. I almost feel like that would work. Um, it may wash out quite a bit, but what if we really um, saturated, like say for example, you had a little bit of water, but you had quite a bit of the coffee grounds. You might be onto something <laughs> for sure. Let's see here. What else do we have? What t-shirt are you using? So I'm going to drop you down below. I'll show you really quick for this one. So for this one here, this is the Gildan. Hopefully you guys can see those Gildan soft style, um, 65 poly, 35 cotton. And then let me just show y'all so you guys can hopefully see if y'all can see it now that we've dyed it <laughs> for the George one. Hopefully y'all can see that there. This has that big G. This is a George, but make sure that you guys, I'll bring y'all back up here. The tag for this one is on the inside. When you go to purchase these, be mindful that fabric changes all the time, depending on what distributor they use. Um, check the tag down here because this one's 65 poly. Because one time I purchased a bunch of these. Number one, it, different cuts of fabric, they were white. And then some of them I had almost like a yellowed out white. So I had to return them. And then some of them I purchased didn't end up being 65 poly. It was like, like almost 100% cotton. So definitely make sure you guys be mindful for always checking those tags. Let's see here. I'm new here. Is the Design Bundles a website we pay monthly for? So Design Bundles, um, just the website alone and these bundles, you do not have to be a member to purchase. Um, that's called the Marketplace. And then we have our big bundles. Once again, do not have to be a member. If you are a member, you get access to our Plus membership, which is designs that is exclusive for our Plus members, as well as a discount. So say, for example, our Gold Plus member, you will get 15 extra percent off of this bundle, as well as anything that you purchase from the site, including our dollar event. Let's see here. Um, is that t-shirt cotton or a blend? So these are blends. So they are both 65 uh, 65 polyester and 35% cotton. Do you have to use peroxide to stop the process? I have not. So that to me, say for example, if I was doing a bunch of these, I have seen where people will take a big tote, they'll put water and they'll have a little bit of hydro, hydro peroxide. They'll have a little bit in there and they'll just throw their t-shirts down in there, which stops that bleach process. For me, I've always just had a tote or a bucket of water, cold water, and I just throw my t-shirts in there until I'm ready. But if you're doing one of these, have the washer ready to go, nothing in there. And like I said, throw it on that rinse and spin and you're good to go. 
let's see here. How do you do the layering with sublimation on an iron? So if you do the iron, you're going to do the same thing. So when it comes to layer, you don't want the color on top of it, but you've seen how I did the two separate. So if I had my iron, I would get this section here, hold it, get yourself a timer and time yourself for 40 seconds, move yourself down and continue to proceed forward. You can always get yourself um, like a heat gun too to see how hot your your iron is, but I would recommend jacking that iron all the way up to the highest cotton settings. Let's see, why don't sublimation bleach out? Because, so the sublimation is gas basically. So it's like a whole science thing. So, you know, like when we were in science class, those molecules like bond together, it becomes one. So basically it becomes like the fabric. So you know how the fabric is the fabric and then the dye color is the dye. So the t-shirt, the purple is the dye. The fabric is the fabric. And so that's what the sublimation becomes the fabric. It's hard to explain, but it just becomes one with it. it it's absolutely amazing. Let's see, what program is being used? So when I use today, I used Canva to, to do the process of chopping this in half. But if you were going to do it smaller, you could get away with using your silhouette. You could get away with using Cricut Design Space. Um, and then you just have those little registration marks that you can trim off later. So feel free to use whatever program that you have. Let's see, wash separately to right. Yes, I do because I don't want any of this dye because if I wash them together, this dye will seep into my bleach spots. So then these would become like a muddy brown. And then that bleach also can start to pull out some of that tone. So highly recommend doing those separate. Let's see here. Do you think sublimation printer is worth getting for personal use? I've been using um, infusible ink, but wonder. Yes, highly recommend. If you can get a good deal, like for example, I even when I was just crafting, I got the Sawgrass SG500. I know that if it sets your special as a crafter, you're not going to print a whole lot. Those inks may be expensive, but if you're a crafter, they're going to last you forever. Ignore that expiration date on there. I've went well past it. They are good to go, but they will last you a long time. If you're an Epson, you can really get in there on a budget. There's lots of different inks out there. So I do encourage it. You would absolutely love it, even if it's just for a crafter. All right. So I believe that was our last question. So let's go ahead and get ready for Q&A. All right, Q&A, wait for a giveaway. Y'all, it's Monday. All right. So here we go. So good luck to everybody. Let's go ahead and hit that draw button. Thank you all for watching and hanging out with us today. I'm so, so excited to be crafting with y'all all of the time. So let's see here. Good luck to everybody. Congratulations, Deborah West. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. All you have to do is reach out to mail at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of this entire t-shirt bundle. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys are going to be recreating this, we would love to see. So make sure you guys join our Facebook community group so you guys can share those over there and we can give you guys all of the love so i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe i feel like i'm on, i'm gonna pre-record <laughs> bye guys